not spoken one sentence of French. Get outside of the McGill bubble. But what res did you live in in first year? We <laughs> all lived in different res. Like, did we? I, I called my RA once for an emergency and she ignored my call because she thought I was a Chinese spam call. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Angela and I am a fourth year business student at McGill University. And last weekend, my friends and I got together for dinner. We cooked and ate some butter chicken that we bought from Costco and we filmed a little mukbang where we answered questions about McGill University since we are all seniors and have been studying here for four years. But before we hop into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos of my life as a student at McGill University here in Montreal and if you have any other questions that weren't answered in this video feel free to leave them in the comments below so without further ado let me introduce you to my friend this is my friend Vanna I'm studying James. sustainability and computer science hi my name is James I'm studying computer science I'm Kelly I study econ canceled I'm yeah, Angela I study international management I'm Celine I study poli sci why did you guys choose McGill <laughs> I wanted winter you guys all know that answer. She's from LA or Cali. Do you actually like it? Shocking. I feel like the winter isn't that bad, though. actually. Yeah. We haven't even gone to winter. <laughs> but like, in first year, like, it was oh, like cold. That was, like, over, that was like the worst winter. That's true. Going out, it's like, oh, I don't remember. It's supposed to be bad this year, though. That's true. Yeah. Last year, winter was really oh, warm. Last year, winter was really warm. I didn't, yeah. have, I didn't wear a comfort at all. There was like no snow. Like, well, having the Vancouver's not. Yeah, I know. It was COVID winter. So my choices were. UBC, UT, and Miguel. Mm -hmm. As um, usual. Yeah. The big three. Yeah, basically the big three. UBC was like too close to home and I wanted to like <laughs> um, go outside and also be away from my parents, which is. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then UT, uh, too many horror stories. Mm, that's like half the reason, like coming to Miguel, like Montreal. And I was in French immersion, so. Mm -hmm. Could still speak French, like without actually studying French, I guess. Yeah. For me, kind of like the same thing. I thought I was gonna use my French a lot. <laughs> I, did not, I, I literally have not spoken yeah, one yeah. sentence of French. Things like mainly like the international reputation because I was choosing between Miguel and Queens. Mm. And Queens is like has a really good business program, but since I kind of want to work outside of Canada eventually, I feel like Miguel's like a better. Yeah, no, I thought name. of that too. My brother said that. Oh. He was just like, well, he's in Asia, so he was like, if you want to mm. Asia, like a lot of people know like, Miguel more. Mm -hmm. What about you, Sweet? Um, kind of same reason as Kelly and James. Uh, yeah. All of us were from the Vancouver area, just for context. Um, so yeah, like wanting to live away from home um, and like kind of get that independence. And also, yeah, I thought I'd be in French a lot more. I was also in French immersion, by the way. <laughs> you got a bunch of yeah, I, said, like, you had a plug I, I was in it for 12 years, okay, so I gotta, I gotta use it while Thank I can. You. What res did you live in in first year? We all lived in different res. Wait, did we? Yeah, we did. Yes. We all lived in different reses and we all had very different experiences. Very different. <laughs> I was in C4, which is car for Sherbrooke, mm -hmm. which is one of the three, three hotel ones? Three, yeah, three. Sitting down. And yeah, yeah. yeah, one of the three um, hotel ones. It was like fun, but it was expensive, like really expensive for res. No, like no, obviously no. it's downtown and you're living in like an actual hotel. I had like a giant room with like a queen size bed. So I'm getting my money's worth in a way, but it's still super expensive. I lived across the street from her in the other hotel res. Yeah. Uh, I was in La Citadel. I think it was one of the newer hotel res. It was really nice. I guess it was more quiet. So I was more extroverted, so it was like it was fine for me to make friends. But I feel like a lot of people, yeah. it was hard to make friends because there was less of a residence vibe. Mm -hmm. It was more like when you're done with partying, you go home and sleep kind of vibe. Okay, yeah. yeah. And we didn't have our cafeteria. We had cafes. So. I think that actually adds a lot to it though, because like so mm -hmm. had a calf, so you get to like mingle with people. Like yeah. you always love this. So I feel like I was exactly. That's what all my friends were like at C4 because I was in C4. <laughs> True. Yeah. I lived in Upper Res in McConnell. Upper Res is like. <laughs> The, the OG ones. The party reses are like more like what you would expect of like a university dorm essentially. It's not like more American. Yes. Yeah, like very yeah. American vibe. That's why I picked it. <laughs> That's why I picked it. For the American vibe. Did mm -hmm. you like it? I did. You have I to find a whole bunch of Okay, but it makes the winter nicer because I warm up by the time I get to the top of the hill. That's and then my calves were very toned. That's true. You That's do get a good workout. So I live in a res called Evo. So, I was sure they ran out of space, right? Yeah, so Miguel ran out of space in my year and they leased two floors, three floors, in some student housing thing. It was basically a converted hotel and it was pretty nice, but the downside was it was 20 minutes from school uphill. <laughs> 
So I also got really toned calves, actually. <laughs> Like day, every day. Yeah, it was expensive, but there's a pool in it though, so. <gasps> there's a pool? And a sauna too. Yeah. Can you use it? Yeah. You're like, it's part yeah. of your th thingy? Yeah. <gasps> and there's a rest. Oh there's my a, god. Facial. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, really? I did not. I know there's a revolving restaurant on top of Evo. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I feel like he's Is it even round? That. Yeah. <laughs> Evo's round? Yeah. And there's like, a, there's like a regular restaurant on the top, on like the 30th floor or something like that. What? It's not good. The food was like super salty. <laughs> I tried it. Tried it. Yeah. But actually, the nice part is you could walk all the way from like, I could walk all the way from my room mm. to Chinatown underground. Oh. So one thing I did one time was nice. I did that, but I didn't bring a jacket. So I just ran outside to the store, got takeout, and then ran back mm. in the winter. I lived in um, more houses, which I think might be obsolete now. It's not a first year res option anymore. It was no. one of the apartment style ones. And basically it was like this like house of like 20-ish people. And they all lived like apartment style. So like there's like one giant shared kitchen and everything. And like mm -hmm. there were like different rooms and like a little like common areas and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the most <laughs> similar to that now is like Solon Hall. Yeah, like the closest thing would be Solon now. But then yeah, Solon, Solon is yeah. super far, isn't it? It's not, is that it's like the like, far one? It's like Leonardo. Yeah, it's not that far. far. It's so far. It's not at all. It's not that far. I used to go there often. Yeah, I was like, I was like right on the green line. And it's cheaper. It's like seven hundred dollars. Yeah, it's so. Wait, yeah. wasn't yours two point two? No, mine was the same price as Solon. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Solon is so much closer. Solon is really nice. Is yeah. It? Solon's, yeah. Solon's nice. I used to go a lot. They have like really tall ceilings. Yeah. So, like, the decorations are when they decorate is so nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I went to. I went there for like a free food. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. Wait, I went for. I went to one of their parties and I went some. I got free food because someone was hosting in the room. But the RAs there are so much nicer than the ones. I'm oh doing. no, for sure. Yeah. My like, RA literally did not care about us. No, he just closed the door and he would never talk oh, to us. Mine did. I, I called my RA once for an emergency. And she did ignored my call because she thought it was a Chinese spam call. <laughs> Vancouver area code, and I was like, it's a Chinese spam call. Wow. <laughs> I'd call her back and be like, excuse me, I'm having an emergency. Right. Next question, what is your favorite and least favorite part about living in Montreal? The winter. Yeah. Least favorite. Least, least favorite. favorite. <laughs> favorite. <laughs> least favorite. <laughs> the opposite. <laughs> Personally, in first year, I hated Montreal because I was always sick. My body was like adjusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was sick like, all the time in first year. Like, once I got sick, I couldn't get I got the frost flu. Mm -hmm. Then I gave it to my roommate. Just passing it back and forth. Yeah, so that was not fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think what I like about McGill is um, like, this like work hard, play hard mentality. Mm -hmm. Like that the campus is like downtown. So like, yeah, yeah, but it's not too integrated. So yeah. Like, it's a good so location. Separate. Yeah, so then you yeah. actually like, if you're like living near campus, you're like living downtown, you're so close to so many things. I love the cafes here. Cafe <laughs> Tuesdays. That's cafe cute. Tuesdays with me and Kelly. We go to a new cafe every Tuesday. Because every day. day. There's a lot of cute cafes like that you can really study at, like Thank around you. McGill. The restaurants here are also like pretty decent. I like Asian food, so like Montreal's like not mm -hmm. my favorite. Food. Concordia like, area. Yeah, Concordia area where we usually hang out. Okay, last question. What advice would you give to any future or current McGill students? Join like a club. Don't be scared. Um, like you know, doing something. Uh, like definitely get involved. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I get involved. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Let's hope we all yeah. yeah, we all met through the same club, HKSN. Represent. And we're all the oldest members of that now, but we all joined you in like first like year. <laughs> Exchange. Oh yeah. If you can. When someone invites you to something, like just, <laughs> just, just do it. Literally just do it. Yeah, just go. Yeah, yeah. You actually hang out with us now. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Oh, uh, for context, the year I joined, I like barely hung out. We invited him and he wouldn't come out. I didn't that know was me first semester. <laughs> no. He just said he didn't notice. I never knew this was a thing that James didn't come out. Uh, just yeah. get involved. Or the here. city. Yeah. Celine's still doing that. <laughs> me? She's a worker. That is bad. Bella just as bad? Yeah. Wow. No. I've actually been to the plateau. She has a car too. Oh, oh yeah. I'm friends with people who are a car. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's a lot of things to do around. Get outside of the McGill bubble. Yeah. Like actually. Yeah. It's actually really nice. Is there anything secret on campus that people might not know about? Birds? There's a bar on campus called Gertz that yeah. so you can check out. It's a, it's a uh, secret because it was never open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're like fourth years and this is the first time yeah. we've been to our campus bar. Oh, the building's been under renovation since our first year. Yep. Yeah, finally open. All the science buildings are connected underground. 
So oh, yeah. You don't have to walk outside the window. Wait, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah, if, you're they in, are. if you're in science, you get free printing in Burnside. Yeah. Oh, that's close. Cool. Thousand pages uh -oh. a semester. So make friends with science kids. We eat at Opiano, which is like literally a minute from campus. Yes. And also Chipotle. Chipotle. <laughs> it's in the basement of the Scotiabank building and it's so freaking good and yeah. cheap. They only take cash though, so. Yeah, bring cash. Use your HKS and discount card. Wait, are they always not? Opiano. Oh, Opiano is. Oh, Opia. Opiano is. Study hard, also party hard, party work hard, play hard. Okay, thank you for watching our mukbang. It's honored to be featured. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos of my life here in Montreal. You'll see all these faces a lot because they're the only people I hang out with. <laughs> okay, bye!